Keith Savage here to welcome you to what looks to be a Pillar Glitching 101 class, but this is actually a masterful example of the pinnacle of Pillar Glitching. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm not just dancing around in triumph here, I'm going to show you how tall the pillar really is. I'm going to use this pillar to place the glass where normally it would not go. And at this point, I don't know if it will go. I've never tried to put a pillar where I'm going to try to put this one. In any case, you're about to see, I speed things up just a little bit there. What I'm trying to do is create a header because I had removed the doors that would not open and shut anymore. They open the one time and then that's, they, they stay in your way and open big heavy metal vault doors. And instead, I wanted a little glass header to match the rest of the security fence, which I wasn't about to scrap. It's unique. You don't have another settlement with one of those. I don't scrap anything like that. I try to keep one original item at least per settlement. In this case, I kept all of the security fence and um, just scrapped the doors. All right, that's looking real good and we'll nail it. There you go. Did it in one go. I quick saved ahead of time, but um, didn't need it. Managed to get it perfectly even across um, the header there. Very pleased with how well that turned out. Now, it's got to match the security fence on one side and the concrete wall on the other side. So there is a bit of a difference, but there it's lined up perfectly. Let's look at it outside of workshop. So much easier to see. One of the reasons I scrapped that door and didn't want to put any other doors is it's really tight there with the machine. Now, for tutorial two... I'm going to show you a little trick I learned uh, trying to figure out a way to get the, uh, the sign in. Now this original version, the, uh, the electric cables hide the neon. And I didn't really mind how that looked, but I definitely wanted it to stand out more. So I went and did another type of pillar glitch. This one really not a glitch, more of just a simple uh, trick. But I wasn't sure if the pillar would go exactly where it needed to be to do this. And then it was just playing Scrabble. In any case, I needed to get the pillar exactly lined up here. This is one of those cases where it, it has to be perfect. And of course, I strive for that in everything, but uh, nevertheless, this one I really wanted to get right. Okay, yeah, right there. That's good. Okay, let's play Scrabble, everybody. First, grab us some letters. R. I see it's still red there. It's not going to go. It needs to be a green. There you go. All right. Good deal. No, don't like that. Okay, let's move the ad over here. And yes, okay, we'll use the A. Now what I'm trying to do here is just make sure that it lines up right. I don't want them too far out of line, both uh, horizontally and vertically. So, okay. At this point, we just need to move the A out of the way. And we get Ada. Yeah, that's appropriate. Now see, it's not gonna go that far up. It will only go when it's green. Now, you see there, I, I, that's, that's the limit. Here I'm just taking a good look at it and making sure all the letters are going to line up okay. Okay, I'm about to speed up the film so we can get through a lot of tedious letter shuffling quickly. 
Okay, slow it down. Okay, yes, move everything around. That's gonna work. Flip our R's. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Yes. See, it's not linked to the pillar. Neon, for some reason, floats. It never seems to get linked to any sort of storable or scrappable wall. And there you have it. My radar arcade sign with optional overboss apartment. Thank you all for watching, and I certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorials. Maybe I even taught you something new. Appreciate all your support. Have a good night. Brought to you by Schlockett Industries, the very pinnacle of low-cost machining.